I'm Professor Sarah Dancer, Professor of Data Assimilation at the University of Reading. And we've been doing some really exciting work using a network of CCTV cameras positioned near rivers um, owned by a small business called Fast and Digital. And we've been trying to use data from these cameras to improve flood monitoring and flood prediction. I'm Varun Oja. I'm a lecturer in Computer Science Department at the University of Reading. I'm involved in River Camera Project. Uh, in the River Camera Project, our uh, objective is to try to extract uh, flooding information from River Camera images. So I'm Remy Van Der. I'm a postdoc research assistant here at the University of Reading, and I work on the DARE project where I develop deep learning and computer vision algorithms. In this project, my role was um, to bring in the ideas of artificial intelligence and deep learning algorithms in order to extract information from uh, river camera images to, to understand um, the uh, rising of water in river camera images. So the deep learning algorithms uh, which are used uh, to do this task, extraction of information, perform tasks like uh, uh, how a human being will do the analysis. So we fed uh, deep learning with uh, labeled data. So we manually labeled few uh, samples and the deep learning was able to distinguish between uh, different objects in the images like water, trees, and uh, over the period of time or in a sequence of images, we were able to kind of uh, see how the water uh, level is rising. And that's how we were able to find information about uh, flooding events or non-flooding events uh, from the river camera images. The problem in rural areas and remote areas is that it is difficult there to install a gauge station, for example, to measure river water levels, whereas you can really easily install a camera there to observe the floods that will be happening. Uh, it will allow them to better prepare for flood events, so send the emergency services, for example, to the right locations uh, where the flood is happening. Uh, I think the first step is that currently we are using deep learning and computer vision methods. These methods are not perfect, they, are, they produce some mistakes here and there. And so the first thing to do is to try to improve these methods to produce more reliable measurements. But one thing we also want to do is produce those measurements in meters above sea level, because as of now we are producing uh, just quantitative data correlated with, with this uh, river water level. So I think it's really important, especially for flood scientists. One of the things I've really enjoyed about this project has been working together across disciplines. So we've been working with hydrologists and with computer scientists who do the machine learning and also with a small business, Fast and Digital. And, and we've all been working together towards the same goals and it's been a really creative process.